Hello everybody, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. How you doing? How are you? If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and follow me on Twitter or Instagram right there. Anyways, uh, so I did a little Sephora haul. Um, there's one thing in here that I needed and then I went, you know, if I spend 25 bucks, then I can try out that new Benefit Mascara. Because they had it, if you spend 25 bucks, you can get the new Benefit Mascara, you know, just a deluxe size for free. So that's what I did. I searched through to see if there's anything new that caught my eye. Not saying, you know, I necessarily needed to try the new mascara or anything new. Um, because I really don't. But, you know, because we got a lot of stuff. But I'm like, okay, you know, I, I want to give this a try. So I ordered it. So let's hope it's all here and not broken. Okay. Let's see here. All right. Should be all there. Do I have any samples? Yes, I do. They sent me uh, the NARS concealer, and I think I picked this one out. Um, I love, this is my favorite concealer, one of my favorites. I love, I'm loving that new Hourglass Concealer, guys, if you can get a mini, um, I did I buy it? I don't know if I bought it or I was able to get it for free from Sephora, but the new Hourglass Concealer, I love that. It is so good. Um, I also love the NARS Concealer as well, and I got a sleeping mask from Cora. So those are my samples. I'm just going to stick that in my sample drawer here. Anyways, so the one item, oh, here's a mascara. The new mascara from Benefit, their real magnet, 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 magnet mascara. Say it right. I don't think it's like a magnetic mascara. Um, I was watching a video, powerful lifting and lengthening mascara, 40% longer lift. But I was watching the video because they just came out with this on Friday. Um, they launched it on Friday and I was watching a video of it and... I don't think it's magnetic. They're just calling it magnet. But anyways, this is what it looks like. Well, it's a nice wand. I like the wand. I'm liking the bristles. And I think if you watch the video, there's this whole way that they made this bristles and stuff like that. I don't remember. I just want to know if it works, girl. That's all I want to know. I just, you know, we just want to know, does it work? Right? My hair. I have like flat head Anybody else, you know, it's just, I don't dry my, blow dry my hair. I haven't used a hair dryer in such a long time. My hair is like flat up here. And I try to like, I don't know. When I put it, when I put it in a ponytail, my hair is, it's over. It's all over then. Anyway, so this is the one thing that I needed. Um, and I love this, oh my goodness, for washing my brushes and my beauty sponge. It's the Beauty Blender Soap. I think this is like 11 or 12 bucks. I got the lavender one, but I was running out of my soap, and this is the only thing I use to wash my brushes. I had the shampoo before, and honestly, I found that I was I was going through a lot of the shampoo, um, but the soap, I'm a big fan of, and it was funny because I thought, this is a bunch of baloney. Is it really going to wash my brushes that good? Is it that great when I first got it? I thought, what a bunch of baloney. I used to use what was it, Dove dishwashing soap or palm olive or something like that I would use. No, the one that you use, Dawn. So I would put my brushes soaking in Dawn and clean it that way. Or baby shampoo. Most of the times I use baby shampoo to wash my brushes, right? And my blender. But man, the first time I tried this freaking beauty blender soap, I was hooked. Hooked. It's brilliant. I love it for my beauty blender and my brushes. Boom, boom, and it's clean. I, I freaking love this stuff. So, um, for twelve bucks, I got a little thing that you can stick it on. You know, let it dry once you you got it in your hand and you're using it. And a little container here. So I'm super excited. I got an extra one because I'm running out of the one I got. And I don't know if I got an extra one lying around here somewhere. So I'm like, get it, girl, so I can get the mascara and I've seen this so this is the morphe 9d painted desert so is it desert or is it yeah it's desert it's not dessert it's desert artistry palette now me and morphe see I find that the morphe big palettes 
I don't really like the formula in those. Every big Morphe palette I've ever bought, I haven't really enjoyed the formula. But the nine pen palettes that I bought, however, I do like the formula. So I'm a little bit confused. You know, um, just like ColourPop. You know, like if you got a formula that people you know say is good, why do you change it sometimes and put it in other things? It makes no sense to me, right? Anyways, this is what it comes like. I like the packaging. Um, is that different from Morphe? I don't know if I got another nine pan Morphe or not, but I like the packaging. Ooh, there's some pretty colors in here. So I think there's three new ones. This was 16 Canadian dollars, I believe. I'll leave the price right here. So with this and the soap, I think it came to like $27, $28, and I was able to get um, then the mascara for free, right? That's pretty. All right. They got the names on the back. I like that. Morphe brushes. This is, however, made in China, just an FYI. I think all Morphe products usually are made in China. Um, okay, so we got a dark brown. I like that color. That's a beauty color right here. And a little shimmer. So we're going to swatch it. Use the right finger, Lisa. Okay, so those are the first three swatches. Let me just wipe this off. Start over fresh. So I see there was three palettes. There was another one that I was looking at, but I kind of like these colors better. Um, I'm a neutral girl, so I'm like, you know what, just get it and see what you think. Oh, those are pretty shades, too. Oh, you can't tell. Where's the other one? It's a lighter one. This one right here. These are really nice shades, really nice. They remind me of Autumn for some reason. They're like a, a fall palette. That's what it looks like to me. Definitely a fall palette. I mean, especially with this, like, mustard yellow. I always find this mustard, wow, I'm telling you, I always find that when I get one of those mustard yellow type colors in a palette, they're usually not that great. They're kind of, you know, um, patchy, but that's swatched beautifully. Not going to lie about that one. Okay, and then we got two more shimmers here. This is definitely giving me, like, fall vibes. Can you use... Oh, Lisa. Let's do it here. There's one shimmer. Oh, that's pretty. And there's another shimmer right there. So I'm loving the mattes in this palette. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to try it on. See what I think. Try out the mascara. See what we think. You know, I personally, I'm a lover of a deluxe size mascara. You got to throw a mascara out after three months anyways. Um, so I'm like, listen, I'd rather buy a deluxe size mascara Throw it out after three months, you know, especially if you got other mascaras, you get subscription boxes, you get mascaras, you know, um, if you're Canadian and, and you're with Top Box, you might get a freebie mascara. You never know, right? Or you get it in a, in a subscription box. I am using legit the last of my Gerard Cosmetics eye base. I'm sad about that. I'm very sad about it. I might buy another one. I'm kind of like trying not, I keep on I, I keep on saying I'm trying not to buy things I don't need, but then I just bought another eyeshadow palette and I don't need it, you know what I mean? So, and I definitely didn't need to do that to get another mascara because I have tons of mascaras, you know, but I love this eye base. Like for me to hit pan on something means I must really, really like it. So if you're looking for a good eye base, Gerard Cosmetics, um, the girl who owns it, her name is Jen. She is a beautiful person. I follow her on Twitter. She's such a sweetheart. And I know a lot of people, when they try this, like they're, they're, they're souls, you know. It's such a good eye base. It is also, um, you can also use it as concealer, but I usually just use it as an eye base. And now I'm out. So I'm like, ah. And I got this in my Tri Beauty box. And what's funny is that my other favorite eye base has always been the Bomb, which I got in Tri Beauty box. And now I got this one from Tri Beauty box. But I can always go back and use the other eye bases I have. I kind of want to 
get another one of those. And I'm like, Lisa, you don't need it. You don't need it. But, you know, I probably will. I probably will. Just saying. Anyways, we're going to try on this eyeshadow. And we're going to have a chat about what's going on out in the world of beauty. Girl. Anyone um, paying attention to this Tati and KJ lawsuit? Girl. I think I'm going to put this one on and this one on. Oh, my God. It's so hard. I love that one up there, too. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm going to go with the first, the lightest shade first and put that um, just in my crease. But I was watching Emily Baker. She's the um, former assistant prosecutor who goes through all of the lawsuits you know, um, for like beauty channels or YouTube channels and stuff like that and explains all the documents and everything else to us who don't know half what these words mean, right? And I'm watching it and I'm like, oh my God, it's like, is this even about what this girl freaking KJ said about Tati and her family anymore? It's like, is Tati even a part of this suit anymore? Because there's so many people brought into it. It's, oh, I can just imagine, you know, it's almost like this must be never ending for the Westbrooks. Do you know what I mean? They're, they're probably going, okay, can this hurry up and be over? Um, so her name, you know, isn't going through social media for things like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, I miss Tati. I'm a Tati fan. I know some people aren't. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. You can like whoever you want. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean we got to disrespect each other, right? But I, I miss her. And I'm kind of hoping, like, I'm hoping that one day, you know, she'll come back. And even if she don't officially come back for good, I'm like, a part of me is going, I'm hoping someday she just pops in a video and says, hello, I, you know, I love you all. I've missed you. Thank you, you know, for your well wishes. I'm here. I'm okay. And here's my baby. That's, I'm, I'm like, seriously, I'm having dreams. That's what I want to see. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh my God, no one's seen or heard from her. I'm going, wouldn't that be fabulous? Because I know how badly she wanted a baby and she's got endometriosis. So she's been having a rough time. And endometriosis is no joke. I have endometriosis and adneomyosis. Luckily, I was able to have uh, children. But it's no joke, I'm telling you. Ugh, endo pain? Not fun. Not fun. So that would be lovely. I just... I miss her, you know, I miss her wholesomeness, and I miss her honesty, and I think she got dragged into something, believed certain people, you know, and certain people, that was just the way it was for them with drama, and they got, never got canceled, you know, so I think that, um, I think she really regrets the mistake she made back then, but I don't think that she should leave you know what I mean I think she's paid her dues you know but that's just my opinion so but I miss you Tati I do all right we're going in with this shade the shades are written on the back I don't like it when they have the shades written on the back you know because then you got to pick it up and look it over and who's got time for that I like it when they, they're written right there on the palette so I don't know what the shade is called girl but we're putting it on and I don't know if I picked the right brush for this eye crease it's a shauna b brush oh it's a beautiful color though like okay morphe yeah i definitely didn't pick the right brush for this because it's too thick you too thick girl right so um i have been i knew brush i have been searching for some new like lifestyle boxes I'm gonna take this one this brush here I got from winners oh oh my goodness I heard no no Toronto's not opening we're closed for another two weeks but I'm telling you the moment winners opens I am there I cannot wait to go to winners and you guys are gonna get a video to see what's new at winners oh I miss winners um, what was I talking about so I've been on the hunt because not that I'm getting bored of beauty boxes because um, when a box comes and there's great things in it, you know, then you get happy, right? 
like tribe box. I'm always excited when I get my tribe box because I, I know it's like from a, mostly from a female owned brand, you know, um, you know, usually brands I've never tried before. So I get excited when I get tribe, right? But like Ipsy, and I love Ipsy, I do, but they're really starting to bug me. Um, top box, you know, I think I'll stay stay with top box so I can show you, hey, this is where they're at still, or if they've improved, you guys will be able to see it. You know what I mean? So then you can decide if you want to, you know, resubscribe or not, right? And it's Canadian, so I'm like, I canceled one. I had two top box accounts. I canceled one. I'm like, girl, no more. I mean, I've wasted a lot of money with these two accounts, and they're not even having pre-bay boxes anymore. So I'm like, you know, I know they didn't have one last month. So, and the month before, I think they only had like one choice, something like that. So I'm like, okay, cancel the second account until something happens. You know what I mean? Um, it gets better, but. I'm on a hunt for like a lifestyle box out where, you know, I want to get like candles and I don't know, blankets and pillows and some nice house stuff, like things to put on your wall and just a nice home goods box. So I've been searching on my subscription addiction and Crate Joy and Googling it and stuff like that. Now there's a nice box coming out of, is it Sweden, I think? Beautiful box coming out of Sweden. But you know it's gonna cost you over $100 Canadian, these boxes, right? For sure, it's gonna cost you for sure over 100 bucks Canadian. So there's a nice box coming out of Sweden. Um, for the month of February, it looked like they had a towel in it. And I'm like, okay, no, I don't want a towel. If it was a blanket, I would probably would have gotten it. So I'm, gonna, I'm waiting on that to see what February is going to look like. But let me tell you, I have been looking at some of these boxes. And even though some are gorgeous, the shipping, girl, shipping to Canada, $40. That's insane. Insane. Even like that Vela candle box. I know we've all seen the ads. The ad is all over Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, this Vela candle box right looks amazing 10 bucks for a candle usd finally able to get it in canada shipping is 40 freaking dollars okay and i'm like okay so if i wanted to get just a 10 dollar box plus the shipping exchange rate and then most likely have to pay duty fees i mean i could have gotten three of those bath and body works candles for that price you know oh bummer so I've been doing that. I've been looking into some candle boxes, looking into some like lifestyle boxes. But from what I've found, they're all so bloody expensive. Everything is so bloody expensive. Like the shipping to Canada is so freaking expensive. Um, so if you know of a box that shipping is not that crazy, I am going to fix my eyes. I don't know what I'm doing here yet, but I'll make it work somehow. If you know of a box where shipping is not that crazy expensive to Canada, and it's a nice box, like, you know, I don't want FabFitFun or Cosbox. I want, like, good quality stuff, and I'm telling you, I found some of the things I've gotten in Cosbox, and the couple boxes I got from FabFitFun, sometimes they're very cheap quality, you know? Um, for me, the best lifestyle box I have ever had has brown brown paper packages and that's Canadian and that's a fabulous box if you never heard of it check it out I have all kinds of playlists unboxing it it's a brilliant box I love that one and it's Canadian um, but yeah I'm looking for something that's gonna you know send nice blankets nice candles like nice art put on your wall you know nice dishes you know, sort of like Globin, but not quite like Globin. Do you know what I mean? Um, and at least a box where you're going to get at least six to eight items, kind of. Because if you're paying like over $100 Canadian, you want a box that's going to give you, you know, more than four items, right? Um, so that's what I've been looking to find. I'm just putting the brown on top of this here. I'm hoping it's not going to look like I got a bruised eye, but it is what it is today. 
But I have to tell you, in regards to the quality of this eyeshadow, I'm having no problems with this whatsoever. Not with the quality. I think it's great. No issues with it. It's doing what I want it to do. I'm happy with this so far. It's like, it's not patchy. The pigment is there. That's what I don't understand about Morphe. They come out with good stuff and then sometimes not so good, you know? I'm confused, girl. I'm confused. Okay. I got like all these brushes on the go. Uh, this is my motor brush. I love it. I don't know what this look is um, today. I feel like Robert Welsh when he's always like, when he does his mystery makeup um, on Mondays, the ghost story is on Mondays. And he's always trying to decide what the theme of his makeup look is. Uh, that's funny. He's such a darling. Okay, I'm going to try. I'm going to try the lighter color of the shimmer and see how she goes here. She is very light, isn't she? Um, maybe a little bit of the dark one on top of it. I like that. I do. It always looks better too once you put on mascara. Right, baby? Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. It's all right. Baby cakes just walked in. I can imagine that the people over at Morphe, if they've seen this video, they'd be like, uh, what did this girl do? She used pretty much all the shades, but what did she do? I'm going to take a little bit of that mustardy kind of yellow and I'm just going to like pop it into my inner corner just, just for kicks. What do you think? Isn't that what makeup is, girl? Playing around, trying to find a shade that works. Okay, well that's my eye look. Now let's see if I can make it look, you know, all to come together with some mascara. And we're gonna try that new Benefit Mascara. Well, I'm not mad at it. I think it looks okay. I'm not mad at what I got done here. Almost like a sunset, kind of. I ain't mad at it. All right, although I use like six brushes. Okay, let's see what this mascara is all about. Apparently the bristles are made like differently and stuff. Now remember, when you're using a new mascara, sometimes you wanna give it your honest review after like the third time you use it because I find sometimes with new mascaras it's almost too wet. But right now, I gotta tell you that this one here, I am liking it. I'm liking how it's separating my lashes. It's a nice little mascara. I like how it's separating my lashes. Um, and making them look longer. Look at this. Can you see? This is good. This is a good mascara. Oh, this is a really good mascara. I am impressed with this mascara. The lift on it is amazing. Wow, right? Isn't this a nice mascara? Okay, Benefit, you did that, okay. Anybody else try this yet? I know it just came out yesterday. That's why I couldn't believe that Sephora had it there, you know. Um, if you buy 
25 bucks, you can get it for free. So that's why I jumped on it. I don't know if it's still there now. I figure a lot of people jumped on it where they had the big launch. I got an email from Top Box saying this launch was coming. And I was like, oh, does this mean that we're going to get a mission? Whatever they're coming out with. I was hoping it was going to be a mission, but no, girl. It wasn't a mission. It was just to watch the launch. Which, man, some of you guys have been so lucky with the missions you've been getting. I think it's great. Um, and I know I've seen a lot of people who were like, oh my God, I got my first mission. I've been subscribed for a year. So, again, I keep on saying, you know, don't give up. Keep on doing your surveys. I mean, Top Box Circle has been popping out missions hand over fist the last couple of weeks. There was even something from Givenchy there, you know? Some people got that mission. I think when you've been with them as long as I, you know, I've been with them from the beginning, and I remember I used to get disappointed and upset, and, but I think once you're with them for so long and you go through the disappointment so many times of not getting a mission, eventually you're like, okay, well, if it comes, it comes. If it don't, it don't, you know? Like, I don't get my hopes up anymore, and I don't get disappointed anymore. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, life's too short, girl. Life is too short to get, be getting disappointed over something like that, you know? So when I get it, I get it. But I know for, like, the new members who see people getting five at a time and stuff like that, they, they will, it's normal that you're going to get disappointed, right, when you're not getting anything. I mean, that's normal, but I think when you've been with the company, from the beginning, we're like, yeah, okay, because we've had so many of those disappointments. Girl, we're cold to it now, you know. It doesn't bother us anymore. Um, but congratulations to you who did. Okay, so this is my final look. I got to tell you, I'm happy. I know in the beginning the eyeshadow was like, girl, what are you doing? It's not making sense, but I, I like what I did. It's a little bit of like a sunset look. I really like what I did. And... This, this is a great mascara. Oh my God, I am loving this mascara. Look at my lashes. Like, look. That's real, girl. That's real freaking lashes. Loving it. Okay, cool. Well, anyway, I hope you're having a great day. I will see you in my next video. Mwah, bye.